I need to I need to catch it so that it's straight from back all the way back here so that it just goes straight into the height where it needs to be at. See, if I just put it down here, then what's gonna happen is it's just gonna back up and the water's gotta push its way out to get to the top. But if I pull it back here, wherever I figure out where that top is gonna be at, then it's just gonna come out and go straight like this. All right, guys, I'm in the office. I wanted to jump in here real quick and do this, uh, let you guys know on this particular part of the video, I did, I was out in the field, but it was too windy. So I had to do a voiceover for this part that's coming up in the, uh, in the video. So the arm movement or the hand movement might be off a little bit, but I tried to capture most of what I was talking about in the field. Also, while I'm on here, I know it's a surprise to a lot of you guys, I appreciate all the new subscribers, all my day ones. We're about 1,300 subscribers away from 20,000. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, appreciate it if you do. Remember, school acts for help. Hang around people that's positive. And if you wake up with good intentions, everything's going to be all right. Appreciate you guys. San Francisco Bay Area, hit us up. All our information is below. Sacramento, hit us up. All our information is below. Appreciate you guys. Any questions, any comments, leave down below. All right, guys, so with this bio retention, what we're doing here is all the new in front of the house, the new extension. We're going to tie this solid pipe and it's going to take us back to this new bio detention retention that we're putting in here. Now, you can see right here they have the existing drainage to the house. And with this uh, with this drainage, I just wanted to tie everything in right here and to eliminate this whole bio retention system. But they didn't allow that. And one of the reasons why they wanted to, I guess, when you're doing new extensions or remodels they try to take anything that's new from the um from the house and the pavement and they want that i guess you'll call it clean that's why they call it a bio retention here so we did have to take it across this um driveway here this is going to be pavers here um we do also have a catch basin this is for pavers that's going to be installed a little later on but it's pretty much straightforward here it's just a solid pipe going from the in front of the house all the way to this backyard i think it's about 160 maybe 170 feet right here we also put a uh a, a, a clean out here wasn't on the plans but i like to have clean outs once in a while just in case something gets stuck and so forth so we pretty much took it straight down this hill here and we already had the chambers installed um you'll see a little later on in the video here and pretty much what a bio retention does is anything that comes from the gutters or from the pavement it comes down this pipe it's going to hit a bubbler at the end and that bubbler is going to pop up and it's going to filter into the special soil here they call it a bio soil mix and what that does is it, it, it cleans any of the contaminants that came off the roof and came off the gutter and it kind of is going to go straight down into this gravel this filter fabric as you guys can see here and that's going to go down to the earth now this system was designed for a hundred year flood or 100 year rainfall here so if it does overflow you will see where it's gonna we're gonna install a six inch pipe here and that's gonna take it to a smaller reservoir and you know hopefully that allows everything to kind of calm down and most of the water goes back into the earth but if it doesn't it goes to the small reservoir and this reservoir ends up going out into the driveway which you saw there to the right so that's why i call it a, a hybrid uh bio detention bio retention bio detention technically takes everything into these yellow chambers all the storm drain pipes from the gutters into these yellow chambers and it takes it directly out to the street whereas with the bio retention it kind of cleans everything and it comes back up and if it needs to go into the street hopefully it doesn't it's so-called cleaner so sit back relax hear it us putting it all together for you guys you guys have any questions any comments leave those down below i know i said a mouthful there but i wanted to get that in because i think the last video i kept saying bio detention done a little research saw a couple other projects so this is technically a bio retention
right, guys. So we got this uh, bio retention done. I believe that's the correct name since none of this water technically leaves the site and goes to the uh, to the city street. So I believe a detention, and correct me if I'm wrong, fills up. It actually these pipes here are installed into the chambers so it can fill up and eventually hits the city streets. But in any event, this one here, this is the pop-up for a six inch. It's gonna pretty much collect everything from the house, the gutters and so forth. It's gonna come down here. Water is gonna fill up there. We got two little small holes on the bottom. The water is gonna fill up there, pop up, hit this soil. Once it hits this soil, this soil in theory will clean it and it will go down, penetrate the gravel and kind of go into the, uh, into the earth. Designed for a hundred year flood or a hundred year rainfall, so if that fills up down there, everything will kind of come up, overspill a little bit, and it's got to be a lot of water, a lot of water, a lot of rain. Because uh, it's designed for a hundred year flood, overspill. We're gonna put a V64 box here, it'll come up, hit this six inch pipe, and it will take it down to this little uh. Another little reservoir here. Um, so we're gonna fill this with some riprap rock. I believe it's about four to eight inches. We're gonna fill that up. That'll be extreme. And that's what we have here. So this one is complete. This four inch pipe, this goes all the way up to the front of the house, comes down, collects everything from the gutter. We're gonna also put a pop up here as well. Um, pop up here as well, finish grading the soil out. We gotta take the, the existing grade and kinda grade it back a little bit and that's kind of going to create a a bowl effect what they want they can also install some plants in here if they like and so forth but we are finished with this one here um, again it's designed for a 45 year flood i mean a 100 year flood or a 100 year rainfall and it's pretty much collecting the gutters from the back of the house that four inches collecting the gutters from the front of the house any questions comments leave down below appreciate you guys and that's what we got. It's cool to ask for help. Hang around people that's positive. And if you wake up with good intentions, everything's going to be all right. Appreciate it.